Did the SEC just kill Solana? My name is Mike Mads. Let's start. Before we start the video, please do me a huge favor. Please like, comment below, check out my links in the description and subscribe. Right, before we get to the main topic here, I found a pretty interesting overview here where we can compare Solana to the other layer ones. Of course, as we all know, market cap or circulating market cap here at almost $8 billion for Solana. Revenue at $4 million. Interesting if you compare it to Polkadot here and Cardano. Inflation rate, yes, as we all know, and as I said in my last video, it's among the highest here and comparable to Polkadot actually. However, I would not worry about it right now. As I said in my last video, you can watch that where I explain why I would be worrying about inflation rate too much as of now. And of course, the eligible supply staked with over 70%. That's super, super good for Solana, of course. Okay, so just a pretty interesting overview. If you have some other tokens in this list, you can compare it to Solana and see if it's better or not. And of course, comparing it to Ethereum here, the winner, and of course, in most cases, just shows you how much upside potential there is for the other layer ones. And that was super, super early. One metric where Solana definitely outshines the competition is, of course, the transaction cost. And it is a point that is super important for the future because as I always say, transaction cost will matter the more adoption we have. And here clearly, Solana is the one with the lowest average tra transaction fees. And of course, also this chart shows you the problem with the Ethereum that we're having, where uh, the average transaction is around five bucks. And that is in a bearish type of environment, wait for the bull market and then tr those transaction fees will jump higher. Of course, Ethereum has upgrades on the horizon and most probably those transaction fees will get taken care of. However, not at this level at where Solana is right now. And Solana is still in development, keep in mind. Okay, so of course, if transaction cost and speed matters to you, Solana is the winner. Decentralization, of course, Ethereum still has many points speaking for it. But either way, super interesting to see this chart lined up here. There's other altcoins here with super low uh, transaction costs, such as Harmony or Near Protocol. However, those lag in other areas much more than Solana is. Okay, so interesting to take a look at. Let's jump to the main topic. But coming to the most important topic of today, and then obviously that is about the SAC and about Solana being in the list of altcoins that can be considered a security in the future. It's important to add here, of course, it's not considered a security yet, very important. And of course, you have to add that it, the SAC is only regulating in the, in the United States. So it's not worldwide. However, of course, the US has the most liquidity. So it is a substantial decision if they decide that most altcoins are a security. Let's understand what a security is first. Okay, this, what is a security? And uh, this is the official explanation here. Generally, if an investment of money is made in a business with the expectation of a profit to come through the efforts of someone other than the investor, it is considered a security. So with Solana here in particular, let's take Solana for example, if Anatoly makes the effort and makes those efforts publicly that his innovations on Solana will make you will will make the token price go higher. Then of course Solana can be considered a security. Okay, pretty simple as that. Funny enough, in that report they added examples of uh, Anatoly of him pushing the tech of Solana. However, it was mostly the deflationary aspect of Solana and the tech side of Solana, and not really something uh, along the lines like Matic here. I will add here the example of Matic where the founder clearly was pushing his own token, basically, long story short. So in this video, I will not cover my opinion if Solana is a security or not, because that's not my expertise. And of course, there can be loopholes. There can be different ways to view a standpoint. I'm not here to tell you if Solana is a security or not. I will go through the scenario if Solana is going to be declared a security. What will change for you and me? And will Solana actually survive that? So let's jump into that. Let's take that scenario where Altcoins and Solana are being declared 100% as securities. It goes through and it is official. First of all, weeks prior to that, you will sniff out if it's going to happen. And there, most probably, the first thing is going to happen is going to be a sell-off. 100%, almost guaranteed, most people will jump ship. And this is, this is the initial fear response that is most probably undeniable. Second of all, what's going to happen or will happen, those exchanges that uh, want to offer those securities aka altcoins, will have to register as brokers. Which means in conclusion, decentralization or the decentralization part of blockchains will fall short. Why? Because those exchanges will have to let the SEC have internal viewpoints of their order books, etc. 
okay? So anonymity and decentralization will fall short if you want to buy those altcoins here on best exchanges. And of course, the fees will be most probably much higher to trade. So this will be the most implications for you as a trader. First of all, a price reaction, 100%. I mean, it's just obvious. And second of all, it's going to be on a broker where fees are going to be much higher and where internal audits are going to be much, much more highly regulated. So long story short, the initial response is going to be absolutely brutal. However, it doesn't mean that the, those altcoins will die. If you believe in the underlying tech of the project, I would still invest in it. Security or not does not matter. And you have to keep in mind, this is simply just the US market. Of course, there's other people than the US even though Americans don't think that. Now is the time or later on, other countries need to show up and need to take that as an opportunity to gain ground in the crypto market. So this is my opinion on that. Yes, initial response will be most probably negative here. However, long term, I'm pretty sure that Solana will survive. And you have to keep in mind, of course, until today, Solana is not being uh, considered a security yet. So don't fall into the FUD too early here. Stick to your plan as I'm right now. I'm still the CA, nothing changed, and Solana is still being massively developed on, nothing changed here, okay? At the end of the day, guys, do your own research, be bullish on yourself, and the most important thing is, don't get back.